Right, so here to talk about the role of academia in national development is Dr. Abosa de Adediji. She's a lecturer and coordinator of the Department of Business Administration, Federal University of Technology, Akure in Ondo State. Welcome to the program. Let me start by asking you, well, yes, universities do play a critical role in providing solutions to problems or challenges in the society. Could you tell us how much of the knowledge at the disposal of the academic world do you think is being harnessed here in the country? Thank you very much. Uh, we say that a negligible percentage of the knowledge at the of uh, the academia is being utilized in Nigeria. Although research has shown that positive uh, uh, correlation exists, between educational attainment and economic growth and development of nations. But here in Nigeria, it's the, the knowledge at the disposal of the academia is not adequately utilized. And I can say that this could be one of the reasons why we are underdeveloped. If you look at um, the Global Competitiveness Index, as well as human Deposit, uh, development index in Nigeria, we know that higher education and training is a major factor. But these are not being put to use in Nigeria. So how much of support do you then think it, that we need to give to them to ensure that we utilize those resources? A lot of support is needed because there is supposed to be town and gown relationship. And then this support should come from all stakeholders. Firstly, from government. Government, as a matter of urgency, should declare a set of emergency in education. Because this same government brings different types of uh, foreign experts to fill our refineries, construct major roads, and similar infrastructure. These people are doing it for their pocket. But Nigerians should be involved. Niger the Nigerian government should create centers of excellence for research and development in universities so that we can produce what we eat. We can produce what we use instead of importing everything, which is actually affecting our economy negatively. And I want to say that the issue of the $9.6 billion gas project judgment is an eye opener. That money, if it is taken out of our capital reserve, is going to affect you and I. It's going to affect everybody. So let us look inward. There should be what we call internal uh, inward integration of research outputs so that we can find solutions to our own problems. Now, if you look at the, uh, our exposure to China, yeah. in terms of contracts, it's running into billions of dollars. And any country that fails to invest in education, definitely that country will become a debt All right, let, let me jump in, Dr. Dedeji, and ask you, I mean, research clearly important in the scheme of things, but other than that, what other areas do you think society can leverage on the importance of the uh, university system? Well, the society can benefit from university education in so many ways. Because the university is a universal phenomenon. And because of this, the university can find solutions to all the problems that we are facing in this country. Now, we are facing the country, uh, a problem of waste management, especially plastic, flooding and erosion, climate change and food security, disaster management, vaccine production. If we want, if, if uh, spray bites us now, let's spray that we have anti anti snake venom. Uh, unless we don't, we have to go to uh, countries uh, like uh, Costa Rica. Anti-rabies and things like that, they are not readily available. So the university can help right. in this regard. And also I want to say 
that the English is also help in promoting peace. First of all, promoting peace, enhancement of democracy, human rights and freedom, and then there should be collaboration between the academia and the industry, between institutions and institutions, promotion of indigenous capacity, human rights, and so many, creation of public knowledge, changes in work process, community service, and then human capital development, right. through the production of disciplined and productive workforce, even according to UNESCO 1998 and World Bank 2000. All right, Dr. Abosa Adedeji, we have to thank you for joining us today on Africa 54.